Hey, what's going on everyone? Today I'm continuing my review and demonstration of some of the Office product productivity programs for the iPad. Uh, this is a iPad 2 that I'm using. And the next program I'm going to look at is Pages. Pages is the document app from Apple that costs $10 and all of Apple's apps are very clean, they look pretty, and they have some pretty decent functionality. Now, some of the issue that I have with this app is that it does not have the sharing ability that it does for some of the other programs. So it looks like what's happening is I'm able to send it to iTunes. Well, let's go ahead and see what we can do for making a new document see how this works. The really neat thing about it is it creates all sorts of templates that you can use to pick one and edit to whatever type of file that you're trying to create. Let's uh, say we're going to try and make a flyer. And this is really, you know, pretty neat where you can go ahead and pick a new pick your own image. Here's one of Hans. Gives us the ability to resize it pretty easily. And this I think will even pop to, you can line it up easily with some of the other pictures. So that's a pretty neat feature to be able to start with a template and say we wanted to edit some of these, we can adjust the bullets, we can adjust the font and create our own type of file there. There's really a lot of features with the documents that we can do. We can adjust the margins. Go full screen for easier easier uh, working with the document. Let's go back to our documents. Now again, this is only for the, the pages for $10. There's no Excel or PowerPoint type, type file creation in this program. Here we can do a completely new document or duplicate one that we already have. If we wanted to share it, we can do it through a few different op options. We can use the, the iDisk through MobileMe. We can use we can email it. A couple different options there. So I would say it's a it's really got to be one of the best writing programs on the on the iPad and some of the biggest downfalls is maybe limitations on sharing. You cannot use the Dropbox, you cannot use box.net and I think they're really trying to steer you in the direction of their mobile me which is going to cost you another $100 a year. Uh, it's a cool service, but I don't think it's anything better than just using something like a combination of Dropbox and the Microsoft Exchange for your push Gmail account, for example, and also using the, the push alerts through the, the calendar programs and so forth. So thank you for your time. That's just a short look at pages for $10, and um, have a great day, everyone.